More breaking news that we are following. A new update today from the Stockton Police Department regarding yesterday's deadly bank robbery chase and shootout. Live Copter 3 was over the crime scene earlier this morning, and you can see it is still a very active scene and a huge presence still there today. KTRA 3's Melinda Mesa joins us live from Stockton with the latest information from police. Melinda? Well, police are still investigating this very dramatic bank robbery and shooting. They are giving us more information. We just spoke with the police chief just a few moments ago. He can tell us all three suspects are documented gang members. They are all associated with the Norteño Street Gang. Now, two suspects are dead. One was arrested. He is Jaime Ramos. He was taken into custody uh, yesterday and is in the San Joaquin ja Jail. And two other gunmen are documented. Norteño gang members. Now, police say the suspects had ammunition taped to their bodies and they were out to kill. The chase began yesterday around 2:15 at the Bank of the West in Stockton. Witnesses told me they say the suspects coming out of they saw the suspects coming out of the bank holding guns to three hostages' heads. Police chased those suspects who stole the bank employee's car, a blue Ford Explorer. There was a number of gunshots fired, a large exchange of gunfire. Officers say the suspects had at least one AK-47. They did show us pictures of the guns taken today, and we did ask uh, about the hostage who was inside the car. Um, she is dead, and we asked police what is the protocol to return gunfire. They say any time they have to defend their lives are the lives of others. Now we have to remember, although there were hostages in the vehicle. Uh, these suspects at some point had to be stopped because of the fear of the continued um, killing, attempt killing of police officers and others wherever they were driving, taking more hostages. The situation could have exasperated and become worse and worse and worse. So it just goes to show the very, very difficult job that the police officers have to do making split second decisions. Right now, the department is still understaffed. There are 356 police officers on the department. We could tell you 20 of those officers, or the chief says at least 20, are on paid administrative leave after yesterday's shootout. Many of those officers were almost hit by gunfire. The chief says some within inches of bullets. So at least 20 of the departments on paid administrative leave. We, of course, asked how will this department survive? They said they're bringing in people who are on vacation, bringing in uh, people who will work overtime, and outside agencies may be called in to help. That's the latest from here. We'll bring you more details and the latest on the gang task force coming up tonight. Melinda, thank you very much. Now